Today, we will discuss Firebase pricing. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. So, working in Backfrap in, for many years, we've seen a common complaint about people coming to, from Firebase to us, and it is the unpredictability of pricing with their services. So, the most common complaint is that the, it, the pricing is very easy to predict when you are small, but as your application starts to grow, the pricing gets very unpredictable and there is practically no way to know how much your services will cost at the end of the day. So, I decided to create this video so we can investigate together how much exactly is the pricing for Firebase. So here I have the Firebase pricing table on their website and uh, as you can see here, they have two types of plans. The Spark plan, which is basically free, which runs for most small and medium applications, and the Blaze plan, which is the paid-as-you-go uh, plan and that has the, all the pricings included. And as you can see, most of their uh, basically functionalities are free in both plans. So A-B testing, analytics, app distribution and app indexing is uh, quite cheap, uh, it's free for both plans. And authentication uh, has no pricing, uh, which means it's free on the uh, Spark plan, but it's paid on the uh, Blaze plan. Uh, though it's not uh, really charged but it's quite limited so you can make 10,000 authentications per month and also 10,000 phone authentication you know, per month also for firestore they have very low limits for the free plan uh, especially when you think about how many requests you're going to do because for Firebase, they charge differently if it is a, a document write, a document read, or a document delete. Then, when you go to a uh, Blaze plan, they have all these tiers where you can go to no cost all the way up to 10 gigabytes per month, and the no cost uh, to the 20,000 writes per day. But once you hit that limit, it will in go into the Google Cloud pricing, which I'm going to open right now. And here they have this huge document explaining the, their billing, which can get confusing from time to time, especially if you're a new user. Also for cloud functions, they have uh, no uh, cloud functions for the free, free plans, and they have all these uh, very complicated way to calculate how much it's going to cost you uh, if you have the Blaze plan. So Cloud Message, uh, crash Crashlytics and Dynamic Links have no cost in both plans. Hosting, they have very limited hosting for free and then they charge you 0.026 dollars per gigabyte of storage and uh, 15 cents per data per gigabyte of data transfer both support domain and ssl and multiple uh, sites per project in-app messaging has no costs firebase ml uh, has custom model deployment for both but if you need cloud vision apis it's only available uh, on the blaze plan for 150 per thousand uh, actions performance monitoring and predictions have no cost for both Real-time database has only 100 connections per time uh, in, on the free plan and 20,000 uh, for the uh, per database in the Blaze plan. One gigabyte uh, storage for free plan and five dollars per gigabyte uh, of storage on the Blaze plan. Also, uh, you can download 10 gigabytes per month on the free plan and one dollar per gigabyte on the Blaze plan. You ha can have multiple databases per project uh, only on the paid plan as well. And for cloud storage, they also uh, charge you 0.26 uh, cents per gigabyte of cloud storage. Then you can download uh, every gigabyte paying 20, uh, 12 cents per gigabyte. Then you can have 10K of upload operations for 5 cents, 0 0.05 cents and uh, on the free plan only 20k per day so as you can see 
it's quite simple to understand uh, when you first read it but then again once you're running and especially when you're scaling this uh, complicated method of charging you gets practically no perspective of how much your app will cost in the end of the day in back for app we, we have a totally different approach because if you're a small uh, or medium you can run for free and we don't limit any resources uh, like firebase does we only ch start charging you on the number of api requests that you do so all the resources are available for free plans and paid plans as well and if you need uh, to to uh, ensure the price has a threshold it's much easier in back for it because we have multiple plans every single one with uh, set limits and if you need a specific plan you can always talk to our support we will do our best to create a plan specially for you that matches your needs and your budget so this is why i think uh, back for App is a much predict much more predictable way to uh, see your prices in the future than firebase is if you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. Also, share this link with a friend and they can too can learn something. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have questions or suggestions, please leave it on the comments down below. We always answer all the questions. Thank you for, for watching this video and see you soon. Bye bye.